Hi good people, it's Amy from Savor Salvage Scent and I hope this finds you well. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, is it the third day of spring in Cleveland, Ohio? Um, I thought today I would talk to you about my favorite tea fragrances because I think tea is perfect this time of year in the chilly mornings and the chilly evenings or as iced tea as we get into the hotter months. So I'm gonna to talk to you about my favorite tea scents before I dive in. Um, welcome to those of you who have never been to the channel before. It mostly focuses, it, ah, focuses on all things fragrance and perfume related with an occasional other creative or DIY project. And to those of you returning, um, thank you so much for subscribing. For those of you who haven't, if you enjoy this content, it would mean the world to me if you would give the video a thumbs up and if you would subscribe. Um, all you have to do is click the red subscribe button and then we can stay in touch. So I also welcome questions, idea, thoughts, challenges. So um, today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite tea fragrances. Um, the first, I think I have 11, but I also have an honorable mention. The first is Tremendous, one of my favorite tea scents, but I just ran out. So all I have is an example of what one of their toiletry bottles looks like. But the first tea fragrance I fell in love with was Bulgari's Te Verte, so green tea. Um, the scent was uh, created by Jean-Claude Elena, and it was released in 1992. I had a boss at the time. I had my first kind of big girl job in a museum and my boss at the time had traveled to, I believe Spain and stayed in this really shishi hotel and came back with these beautiful toiletry products, including the perfume and gifted them to me. Um, and it's really just this perfect, fresh, bright, to me an iced green tea with a little floral and a little citrus. And it just smells to me like class and money. I don't know. It smells so good. I would say, I, I mean, I'm a huge fan of like wear what you like no matter where you're on the gender spectrum or any spectrum, but I, I would say most of these scents are unisex and definitely Te Verte is a unisex scent. So Bulgari's uh, Green Tea, beautiful scent. It can be found from anywhere from like 80 to $150 depending on how big the bottle is. It's a cologne, it needs reapplied, but it's just gorgeous, 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 great in hot weather. Although I think it could be a signature scent and worn whatever. So the first scent um, outside of that that I fell in love with is my favorite scent that the tea uh, sent to me. Uh, forgive me for those of you who have heard me talk about it before. This is Caron's Eau de Reglisse. So water or scent of licorice is what it means. And what kind of tea is this? I'm going to tell you with each of these what kind of tea it reminds me of. This could be hot or iced, but to me, I this is a great warm weather scent, so I see it as an ice scent. But it is um, lemon verbena tea with a little bit of anise or licorice. Um, just gorgeous. So mm, aromatic. This to me is almost a spiritual, like uplifting scent. Um, really, really, really great when you're trying to like um, get energized. But, you know, frankly, I also wear to bed sometimes because it's comforting. So Caron's Eau de Reglisse, this is to me a wonderful lemon verbena with a little bit of anise aromatic tea. Next, um, this is, a lot of you will know this line because it's really affordable and easy to find. This is the, from the Elizabeth Arden green tea line. This is, I think a lot of them are great. These you can find even at drugstores sometimes or online from like 10 to $14 really inexpensively. Oh, and I meant to say the Eau de Reglisse, even though it's discontinued, can still be found online for like 60 or $65, a great price for a great scent. Okay, so Elizabeth Arden's green tea. This is green tea bamboo. This is my favorite in the line. Again, you can find this from 10 to $14. I think it's perfectly unisex. Um, what kind of tea do I get? Again, I get, I get green tea for sure. This to me is what Eau de Reglisse is like. Take out the anise, add a little more citrus and the stems and wood of bamboo. It truly smells like bamboo. So, um, great combination, the green tea and the like stemminess of the bamboo. Really refreshing again, beautiful, inexpensive. 
uh, Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea Bamboo. Oh gosh, um, it's interesting when you collect perfume, sometimes I almost forget about the ones I love the most because I'm trying new things all the time. Or an old favorite. In comes Volgari Black. This to me was like one of the fun first like really edgy scents. Um, this was introduced in 1998, I believe. This was created by Anique Minardo. She's one of my favorite noses. She just does anise scents really well. This has a bit of like an anise thing going on, but this is smoky. Oh, this is so good. Um, and this bottle kind of gives a hint of some a strange or interesting element in the scent. Um, this I get a smoky, hot black lapsang souchong tea. So like dark smoky tea, and a rubber coaster. No joke. There's a little bit of a rubber, a hint of rubber in this. I know that some that sounds strange to some of you. I love it. Um, there's I can't remember what it's called, but people who like the smell of gasoline and rubber. <laughs> I know it's weird, but there's this hint of rubber in this. I think there's a hint of like rubber in the original Angel. Could be wrong, but around this time, people were just taking chances and whatever they put in this, it creates this like smoky black tea and it's just so cool. Mm, Bulgari Black, you can find this really easily still for around 28 to $35. Smells great on a man, smells great on anybody, but yeah, uh, Bulgari Black. All right, now I'm gonna talk about uh, a Guerlain that I like. Now, in the range of how tea-ish is this scent, this one is very light and sheer in the tea, but definitely has a tea element going on. This is in the Guerlain um, Aqua Allegoria line, so it's kind of like a line of lighter cologne or sparkling fragrances. Definitely better, in my opinion, in the hotter months. This is called Tea Azura. Look at that beautiful light blue color. It's like the color of my wall behind me. Um, this range is, these usually can be found for like mm, 35 to 45 online. Um, this smells to me like a vanillic chamomile tea. This was a surprise to me because I don't always think of tea and vanilla together. Um, but this is a beautiful, I would say for vanilla lovers who want something lighter for the summer, tremendous. So it's definitely got tea elements, light. Um, I mean, it's got a few other things in here for sure, but what comes out for me is like vanilla chamomile tea. So Tea Azura by... Guerlain. <clears throat> that is created by Terry Wasser, if I didn't say the nose. All right, a new one for me that's so gorgeous, you guys, and so affordable. I learned about this through the wonderful Sarah Mays channel. She does a ton of hauls, and how that benefits us beyond many, many ways is you get to try things through her nose, and she found out about this kind of inexpensive, uh, I think a Russian company called Brocard, and they did a whole line called My Cup of Tea, and they're kind of featuring different types of tea or points of the day. So this is called My Tup Cup of Tea, five o'clock. I found this online for, I wanna say I paid somewhere between 22 and $25. It's a 3.4 ounce. It is so good. This to me is a scent that could straddle colder to warmer months. But I, this would be great in the, in the cold, cold weather. This is, to me, spiced lemon tea. And to me, <laughs> beyond the, like, spicy lemon tea, my guess is that they call this 5 o'clock because I think there are some spicy food elements in this, too, like baked goods or something, because, like, what would you have with tea at 5 o'clock? Probably little crumpets or sandwiches or little treats. And what comes through here is black tea, spice, and maybe even some gourmand elements. This is an incredible. You could you could sell this for three hundred dollars. People would buy it. It's like twenty five. Bro cards, my cup of tea, five o'clock. Beautiful. Cannot wait to wear this more. It's gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna get into a few indie scents to kind of round out the list. Um, two are from one of my favorite uh, indie houses called Alchemia, which is out of Amherst, Massachusetts. The nose's name is Shara Lemereau. 
they are a small team and they just make magic. Um, so one is a sample that I can't wait to get a full bottle of. It's called OT. I don't know if you can see that. OT. This, these come in five, uh, five milliliter bottle, uh, bottles of oil for about $18, about this size, or you can get a one ounce bottle of perfume for I think 45. OT is super bright. In fact, I think this was created as part of a like spring line. Ugh, so good. Five different teas plus fig, some light spices and woods. I have, I love fig scents, but I feel like a lot of them smell the same, even though I love them. This is a really different fig scent. You definitely get, I would say brighter teas. Like I get white and green tea in this fig, light spice and wood. So even though those things could be wintry, this comes through really bright for me. So this is something I would wear in spring and summer. So it's called OT by Alchemia. I can't wait to wear that more and get a full bottle. And then an old favorite called Persian Tea Room. Same price. I think it's like $17 or $18 for a 5 milliliter, $45 for a big bottle of perfume. Um, this is gorgeous, but I'm going to be really real. First five minutes are screechy. Wait for, to me, to my nose, wait for it to dry down. So worth it. Cannot stress how worth it it is. Um, Persian Tea Room. What does that smell like to you? <laughs> to me, it's like, all the things of the Persian trade. You get like black tea, spice, leather, musk, and you get a little oud. And so it's smoky and dark. Um, when I first put this on my skin, it's almost too spicy for me. And I can't believe I'm saying it. it's just like, whoo, it almost knocks me out. But then in five minutes, I can't even tell you how beautiful it is when it dries down. So yeah, you get all of this black tea, spices, leather, musk, oud, this would be incredible on a man. It'd be incredible on anybody, but I'm telling you, it's just gorgeous. So Persian Tea Room by Alchemia. Okay, two from my absolute favorite uh, indie house called Solstice Scents. They are out of Florida. And the um, noses and perfumer's name is Angela St. John. Just so you know, they temporarily close each spring. They usually reopen around April, mid-April. And so if you go looking, don't be surprised. The shop will be closed until then. But then when they reopen, they just do the most incredible things. Um, I'm going to talk about two scents. One is very, very, very gourmand. I'm not sure what the release dates are on these. I couldn't find. Um, one's really gourmand and one is really smoky um, and cool. So the first one is like, I would say probably the sweetest scent that I have here. Um, really gourmand, super sweet. It's called Sycamore Chai. These come in these beautiful, I don't know if you can see cobalt, five milliliter bottles. They run about 17 or 18. And then you can get a full bottle of perfume. I think they're bigger. They're like 1.7 or two ounces. And those I believe range from like 75 to 90 or $95. So worth it. Like some of the best perfume I've ever smelled. Um, so Sycamore Chai, this is the, this is the best chai scent I've ever smelled. It smells just like sweet, creamy chai. And the way she kind of does the cream is she creates this marshmallow cord. And I know that smells, or sorry, it smells, sounds juvenile, but it is gorgeous. It just creates this like fluffy, creamy nature. And this smells just like spiced warm chai with some cream. Exactly like it. Like exactly like it. It's so good. So Sycamore Chai, cannot recommend it enough for those of you who love gourmands. Amazing. And then for those of you who are like um, kind of, I would say, more Middle Eastern, Asian, Oriental scents, this scent is called Russian Caravan. It's equally amazing. So uh, let me tell you what's in that. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh. This is super dark black tea mixed with, like, it is really smoky. Like, you almost get more smoke than tea. Not too much, though. Like, for me, this is, like, the perfect amount of smoke. 
and you get definitely other things like um, it, it smells ambery to me. It smells like an oriental scent in a lot of ways, even though it's called Russian Caravan. Um, it's kind of, again, trade route kind of scent. It just smells like all the good artsy things. Um, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, even. That, too. Um, Russian Caravan, just really, really beautiful, super smoky tea scent. Two more. Okay, these are new to me. So, again, Sarah Mays, who I should say is evil because I keep buying things based on her recommendations, um, recommended the house called Sukerval. I'm getting to know them. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I ordered about 20 samples recently, and um, I would say about five or eight I'm already in love with. Um, but the two that rose to the top for me both happen to be tea scents. So, they do tea well. And I noticed in their catalog... They have like six more that I haven't tried, so can't wait to try some of their other tea scents. This next one might be my favorite scent right now. It is so good. It's called Byzantine. They have so many different kinds or sizes of their oils and perfumes. It's so great when trying them. This is a 10 milliliter. They run $20. It's quite large, just to give you an idea of the size of my very large hand. Um... These run 20 and then a full bottle of perfume is I think 45 or maybe even 40. It's a really good price. Um, this is so good. I mean, and this to me is like, I can't get enough of it. This is black tea, burnt sugar, and old paper, almost like a paper napkin or something. It literally smells like, think of the best tea, the best black tea you could drink combined with like caramelized sugar and a little bit of paper. I know that sounds we weird. This just smells vintage and cool. Like smoky again, it has like the smokiness, probably from the burnt sugar. It is so good. Oh my gosh, Byzantine. In fact, I gotta put some on me. Mm. All right, by Sucrevel. Incredible black tea scent. Last but not least, this is sweet, but great. Um, this is just called cream tea. I don't know if you can see the beautiful illustration. This was also $10, no, $20 for a 10 milliliter. It'll last a long time. Um, oil. And this is... <laughs> this smells like, again, lighter chai, not quite as spicy. Sugar, cream, honey. And last but not least, in fact, maybe the most prominent note is raspberry jam. For real. It smells like all those things. It smells like, yeah, like tea time with all the wonderful things to go with it. Honey. The honey stands out. And the raspberry big time for like raspberry jam. But for some reason, it's not juvenile. It's really beautiful. Like, I find it to be ultra feminine. But if you like these elements, go for it. They're gorgeous. So this is Sucre Bell's Cream Tea. So, thanks for listening. Um, just talked about my 12 favorite tea scents, I believe. I would love to hear from you. There's many tea scents I still don't own, even though I have quite a few and love them. Like, I know Lardison's Tea for Two is supposed to be incredible. I would love to hear from you guys. Do you have any tea scents that you wear that I'm not wearing or that I should think about? Um, and last but not least, please tell me what kind of video topics you would like me to cover in the future. I have a lot, I have a long list always, but I would love new ideas and thoughts. So if you have an idea on a theme, please let me know. Cheers. Hope you're great and talk soon. Bye.